Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ronan Vico. In this video, I'm going to show you something that I learned in the past week. That is how to restore the Power App Studio to an authoring version that is not available right here. Basically, I was having an issue with the modern table. Basically, the issue that I was having on the modern table, it was when I was using the selected property. One way of fixing it, it was changing the modern table to a gallery, but it was a lot of columns and I, I, I would need to recreate all the text columns and formatties and it was not quickly for me and I, I needed a quickly solution. So one way it was to restore to an authoring version that was not available right here. Microsoft said that the version 3.20 and I not remember the other numbers here. It was a version that is working the modern table perfectly. And it was not available. Like you guys can see, it is not available right now. And maybe you need to change the authoring version to a version that is not available. How to do this? It's pretty simple. The first thing that we, we need to do is to go right here, make.powerapps.com slash canvas debug. Here it, it is a, a list of all the versions that Power Apps Studio can launch. You need to find a version that you, the bug that you are having right now don't exist. So, for example, like I said, the version that I was, I was talking about, it was uh, maybe this one, version 3.2410. And what we need to do is coping, copy this version right here, okay? Like it is right here. So, copy this version, go to the Power Apps Studio, and at the end of the URL, you're going to concatenate like that. You're going to insert that symbol, studio version equals and the version, okay? So when we insert that on the URL and reload the application, what's going to, to happen here is that the Power Apps Studio, it's going to open on that version of the Canvas debug. I needed to research a lot for that, uh, I don't find it, it pretty easy. And the Microsoft, I raised a ticket on Microsoft. They don't help me quickly. So uh, I think that this video is going to help a lot of people if you need to restore the authoring version. Right here, we can see that the version of the studio changed. And one way of checking if it is right, you go to settings, support, and then uh, we can see right here, the version is restored for the version that you needed. So one way is to always use the same version when open the studio. So you, go, you won't have any issues in the future. The Microsoft, in my opinion, focus so much on new features and Copilot and AI, but we just need the basic working. And if the basic is not working, we need to roll back to the old versions. Comment down below if this video helped you. And thank you so much for watching. Please consider to subscribe. See you soon.